Hey guys, what it is? It is your girl Cadillac. Yes, I am Cadillac Dixon. I'm the Draw My Life Prison Way. I'm the legally blind artist that is rapping and painting for justice. <sighs> Open girl. To see justice before all face to black. Yes, it's your girl Cadillac. Anyways, it is February the 9th now. 2020. Yeah, it's after 12. 2023. Um, yes, I am trying. I did do a video today. I got a little, um, artwork done. I was, I came from work just to get me a, um, charger. So I went to Five Below. I like to use their, um, iPhone chargers. Um, they don't last long. They do not last that long, but they are decent for the time that they last. So each month you may be buying you a new one from there but they are cheap they're like 575 so i stopped by there and as soon as you walk into the five below they have art supplies girl which makes it very hard for me to get anywhere because i'm just bombarded by oh my gosh this is only five dollars oh my gosh this is only five dollars i'm sorry i'm trying to open up my editing software but my computer is acting up um yeah so i vlogged that and i um uh, also vlogged me using some of the um i bought me this big nice pack of color pencils from five below let me show you it is really nice for five dollars okay so here it is five dollars now i was kind of hesitant to buy it because of the paint the acrylic paint set that i bought that was five dollars i mean they are cool but they don't seem like acrylic they seem more like watercolor paint um and watercolor i just haven't found a use in my life for watercolors i'm sure there is a use for watercolor so i'm not saying that but it's not giving me I know this thing finally opening at the hour. My Premier Pro takes forever to open. My laptop, um, once it gets going, it'll work for you. But once you sit it down, let it go to sleep, then it, it just be going to be it. And it's hard to get it to working. Um, and the way I live my life on the go, I want to edit for a minute or I want to do this real quick. Or I want to do little quick updates to something in Photoshop. My stuff don't even open that fast like that to do that. So let's open a new file. Yeah, not responding. Like, girl, I really need to get this stuff together if I want to. So new project. If I really want to be doing this, like take this to the next level. Um, so anyways, I vlogged that and I was working on, I started the project Reach the World for Life with Anthony. Y'all know I've been wanting to do a drawing for Mr. Life with Anthony for the longest long time ago y'all know i've been telling y'all about him he is the car life guy yes car van suv life um now he's kind of living in a tent so i kind of um on a campground i kind of um you know updated myself with him for a little bit he ran across my algorithm and i was like yes i want to do life with anthony um, the reason that I did not continue to work on the two that I was doing of Miss Neek and um, Pretty Girl Boss was because I was using the acrylic for the color areas in the um, piece of work I'm working on for them. And I did not have my paint with me. Like I literally barely made it to work. I made it to work, but barely. Yes, girl. Um, so I didn't have no paint with me. And when I got to the area where I started to paint, well, work on my art, um, I didn't have it. So I had to work with what I had, right? So I had to flip the, the page in my um, notebook, my sketchbook. And I was like, I got these color pencil 
Y'all, I used to be bad with them color pencils, girl. My, I can draw with color pencils to the point where they look like paintings, right? Um, but I hadn't really did that that type of thing since I was in elementary and, and middle middle schoolish age. I was a phenomena. I was a child phenomena. I started drawing at age like nine. Basically, picked up a pencil one day and I, girl, I could draw. Um, I started drawing humans at eleven, and I'm telling you, eleven year old just drawing people that look like they're jumping right off the paper. So, um, I needless to say, I spent way more time in my art back then. That became my shield to hide me from the bullies that were bullying me and stuff like that. And it became the one thing that, you know, everybody like your girl for, for my art. So getting these color pencils, I'm like, oh, I could show y'all better than I could tell y'all how good I was with them color pencils. So I was like, I'm going to have to just um, start on a new piece. So I'm like, well, who's the next person um, that I wanted to do a Project Reach the World for? Um, so I decided Life with Anthony. Now, as you know, this Project Reach the World that I'm doing, um, the YouTube edition are basically creators that inspire me. They inspire me in some way in my life. So each person that I am picking, you really have um, impacted me. When I, whenever I've come across your channel, whenever I've come across your content, it is something that um, you may have said, did, or whatever that just really impacted something major in my life. And that's how I used to do when I did Project Reach the World. Of course, I did do a lot of random famous people but the people that truly inspired me like girl I would literally just go all out on their project reach the world so I got off work early um about an hour early I was like oh the sun hasn't went down maybe I should set up at the park but I didn't have my table and my chair that I usually have so I'm like how am I gonna set this up in my car without my table and chair so I'm like um I guess a close area that I can go was go check on my aunt and maybe we could sit out in the foyer um it's a cute little area with patio um furniture um a little fireplace nice trees breeze I love to be in an environment so I'm like um out in the elements girl um, except for that hot sun. Now that's the one element I ain't too, you know, good with. But I love to be out in the elements. Um, it recenters me. I don't know what it is about nature, but it completely takes all the clutter of regular matrix living life away from me. It filters that out, right? Even if things ain't going right for me girl I get out in met in nature and I'm just snapping pictures I'm like oh look how beautiful the sunset is and this um and side note check out my sunset photography on my community page if you would like to right but um so I went over there and I started the life with Anthony um project reach the world to show you the little skills I have with color pencils but somehow the camera turned like if you hold the phone a certain way, it'll turn. So I record this whole vlog and it's freaking sideways. Like, are you kidding me? <laughs> like I literally cannot release and I'm somewhat of a um, perfectionist. I don't know. I've, I've just become that way because I feel like I've been critiqued so hard in almost every aspect of my life that now I critique things tooth and nail like I am going to critique everything and it's never good enough to release to public because of this and I started letting some of that go when I did let go of my editing process for YouTube like before everything had to be perfect like I couldn't do I couldn't record if this like I still do that like if I record a whole thing and something's on my face, girl, 
I cannot. Or if I clear my throat or if I burped or something like that. I see people burp on YouTube all the time. I see people do something. It might be if it's like lint on my sweater. Like I promise you it's always something wrong with the visual frame. Or my hair is messed up. There's lint in my hair. Or um, my eye looking crazy or something like that. I literally don't even want to release the whole video no matter if the content was good or not if the conversation was good or not like look at this my my little locks are too frizzy right there they're not coiled around good enough so it barely made me want to release this um video but you know what how else am I going to do a video? I'm going to go in there and do a whole salon session first and then record the video, which possibly I should start doing that. Um, take more time getting ready and setting up. But for me, being so busy in life, I just want to bring you, you know, when I have a thought, I just want to bring you the thought. When I'm drawing, I just want to bring you the drawing. Like I don't have time to get into no glamour girl, you know, identity first and then draw for you like I don't know I wish I did have that time if I was a full-time creator I might could have that time girl but when you just getting off of work you don't drop coffee waste coffee on your shirt um I, as I do all the time because my hands be going numb as I'm walking into work with my coffee cup or I'm bringing my food home from work and I got my cup in my hand or my bag in my hand and my hand going numb, going dead and I'm about to drop my freaking food on the floor. So I hold it close to me and now it's all over my clothes. Like, <laughs> girl, but I have this brilliant story time I want to tell you. Um just gonna bring it like that or i'm a little ashy because the wind is out i'm chapped i didn't have no lotion on me or something like that you know what i'm saying i'm just gonna bring you the video the way it is now i will tell you guys i'm gonna try to get better about you know the other little nitpicky things as my channel gets more successful, of course, you can spend more time worrying about those things. But right now, I'm just trying to put my message out there, put my artwork out there and call it a day. But I do still have those tendencies of being over perfect because I already know you're going to critique, you're going to judge, you're going to leave bad comments, you're going to leave you know, a lot of people do that. People on um, YouTube, they come with the shield that um you really don't know who I am so I can talk whatever I want I can dish you however I want I can down you however I want to um and most times those people don't even have a profile picture they just got a freaking letter for their name like they don't even have a picture they're not you go to their channel to see oh well who is this troll they don't have nothing on their page they ain't got no videos if they got videos they ain't got no followers like i i literally complain about my subscription base but they ain't even got what i got like girl how you got less than me <laughs> so i do believe that you know growing up i was prepared for this by being bullied but i talked about not fitting in can't fit in if i wanted to now if if I don't fit in with regular YouTubers or I'm not your, um, what is it, eye candy enough for you, girl, so <laughs> I'm here for something else, you know what I mean? So it doesn't affect me like, you know, it will affect others that are not used to that rejection. Girl, I'm, I get rejected all day, every day. But I said all that to say... I'm sure anything, any bad comment you could think of that you want to leave on my my um YouTube videos, I probably have already thought of it myself. <laughs> but I released the video in spite of, right? But um, yeah, so the perfectionist in me cannot release that video sideways. I'm like, well, maybe people can flip the phone. No, girl, I can't do that. Then I wanted to um, flip the video on the phone, but there's not enough storage. I literally only have enough room for like one video or a couple of short vlogs. And then I have to clear off the phone to re-record again, right? Um, so 
I couldn't change it on the phone. So it meant that I have to basically take it to Premiere Pro to fix it. Well, my computer been all day trying to um, open and it finally opens the freaking Premiere Pro. Let me show you. So after all day, all evening, basically, it finally opens now. But guess what? I'm tired and going to bed. <laughs> but I'm going to try to push it a little longer, maybe an hour, hopefully, um, just to drop it into Premiere Pro, flip the video, and then export it, contingent on the fact that I have enough storage on my laptop. It will export, and then I can upload. But that's, like, way more steps than just drawing for you guys recording it and uploading girl but that is the whole behind the scenes hustle of someone trying to um get monetized on youtube someone that it didn't just happen sporadically for so i do see a lot of youtubers that they jump on youtube they make the right video everything is right and they just upload and whoo the garden just grows and flourishes and then they take from that point and just get better and better and better that's not my situation over here my situation is i have been building this youtube brick by brick by brick for years and it's growing i have been tilling this garden for years and it's growing but it's growing um i'm reaping very slowly very very slowly to the point where you could almost not even see it like a pot boiling you go from not boiling to it does boil but what, at what point do you see it actually boil you don't know until you you see it better if you turn the pot on walk away do some other stuff and then come back to the boiling pot but by me watching girl it's very slow growth so by it being so such a slow growth